in the two weeks from the 30th of December uh, to the 30th of December, the UK case rate uh, increased uh, by 70%. And we're now into a situation where across the country as a whole, uh, roughly one in 50 people have got the virus, higher in some parts of the country, uh, lower in others. But one in 50 is really uh, quite a very large uh, number indeed. If people don't take the stay at home seriously, the risk at this point in time, in the middle of winter with this new variant, is extraordinarily high. What is going to happen over time is the risk level is gradually going to decrease. It's not going to be it's, it's really bad and then suddenly it stops. It's, we're going to essentially have the risk walking down a path. Things will be able to be lifted by degrees, possibly at different rates in different parts of the country. We'll have to see. And we'll then get over time to a point where people say this level of risk is one that society is prepared to tolerate and lift you know, right down to almost no restrictions at all. We might have to bring a few in uh, in the next winter, for example. That is possible, because winter will benefit the virus. But the aim of this is to de-risk it as much as possible by the uh, vaccine to the point where actually we get to the stage uh, where the risk is incredibly low relative to where we are now. And we just say, just as we do with flu, where every year, roughly on an average year, about 7,000 people a year die in a uh, bad year, up to 20,000 people a year die. We accept there is a level of risk that society will tolerate, and we, have, we should tolerate. People die. That's one of the things that happens. Uh, and we have to do that uh, at a certain point. But that's a political decision. That's a societal decision.